Hello and welcome to Nurses Handbook. Question number 1. Features of wet gangrene. A. Most commonly seen in the bowel. B. Invariably followed by severe burn or frostbite. C. Venous obstruction is there and D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Gangrene is referred to as wet when there is a bacterial infection in the affected tissue. The most common features are swelling, blistering and a wet appearance and is developed mostly after a severe burn, frostbite or injury and is also seen in diabetic patients who unknowingly injure a toe or foot. It is to be treated immediately as it spreads quickly and can be deadly. Question number 2. Hemorrhage with collection of blood in the soft tissue is known as A. Hematoma B. Echinosis C. Purpura D. Contusion The correct answer is A. Hematoma that is the collection of blood outside a blood vessel. Hematoma is also known as blood suffusions and depending upon the location there are several types of hematomas like subdural, spinal, subungual that is under the toenail. Again symptoms also depends upon the area affected like in superficial hematomas the symptoms are discoloration, inflammation, swelling, tenderness, redness and warmth in the skin. And in case of subdural hematoma, the symptoms will be headache, confusion and seizures etc. In the treatment for superficial hematomas are rest, ice, compression and elevation. And the mnemonic to remember is RICE, R-I-C-E. Heat may also be given if prescribed. Question number 3. After a car accident, a patient with multiple injuries is taken to the emergency department. Which of the following evaluation findings demands rapid intervention? A. Irregular apical pulse B. Unequal pupils C. A deviated trachea D. Echimosis in the flank area The correct answer is C. That is deviated trachea a deviated trachea, especially after accident, is a sign of tension pneumothorax, which is an emergency and in this condition, maintenance of airway is the priority intervention. So what is a tension pneumothorax? It is a life-threatening condition where air gets trapped in the pleural cavity under positive pressure. This moves the mediastinal structure, compromising the cardiopulmonary function. The air gets trapped in the pleural cavity either by an air leak from the lung or through the chest wall from outside like in cases of some chest wall injuries which eventually collapses the lungs. Question number 4. A patient with a thrombotic stroke is admitted to the hospital. In the first 24 hours after admission, what is the most important nursing assessment? A. Pupil size and pupillary response B. Electrocardiogram C. Cholesterol levels and D. Vowel sound The correct answer is A. Pupil size and pupillary response as they are important indications of cranial nerve alterations. So now let us see what is a thrombotic stroke. It is caused by a thrombus that is a blood clot which develops in the arteries which block the supply to the brain. Thrombotic stroke comes under the category of ischemic stroke. Thrombotic stroke is commonly seen in older persons with high cholesterol and atherosclerosis and patients with diabetes mellitus. Question number 5. What is the total score in mini mental status examination? A. 32 B. 30 C. 20 and D. 25 The correct answer is B. 30 It is the mini form of mental status examination and is also known as Falstein test used to measure the cognitive impairment. 
The advantages of using this is it is relatively quick and easy to perform. It requires no additional equipment and it is an easy method of monitoring the deterioration. The disadvantages are biasness will be there against people with poor education and visually impaired. The next one is there is a limitation in examining the visuospatial cognitive ability. Poor sensitivity is detected at mild and early dementia. Question number six, identify the following equipment. A. Syringe pump. B. Infusion pump. C. Digital chest drainage. And D. BiPAP. The correct answer is C. Digital chest drainage. It is a compact portable vacuum unit for uninterrupted drainage of excessive fluid from the pleural space. The advantage of using this is withdrawal of thoracic drainage is comfortable, safe and is well tolerated by the patients. Moreover, it reduces the patient's hospital stay. Question number 7. Which of the following anti-tuberculosis medication is not safe to take while pregnant? A. Ethambutol, B. Isoniazid, C. Rimfapacin and D. Streptomycin. The correct answer is D. Streptomycin. It is an antibiotic that is used to treat moderate to severe tuberculosis, pneumonia, E. coli, influenza, plague, etc. This drug comes in the category D and readily crosses the placental barrier and may cause fetal autotoxicity. It should be taken carefully during pregnancy that is if the patient becomes pregnant or if the drug is taken during pregnancy the patient should be appraised of the potential harm to the fetus. Question number 8 Newborn at risk for developing respiratory distress syndrome is A. Newborn who passed meconium in utero B. Newborn of diabetic mother C. Newborn with period of gestation less than 30 weeks and D. All of the above Correct answer is D. All of the above Respiratory distress syndrome is also known as hyaline membrane disease in this condition, there will be deficient surfactant in the lining of the alveoli due to which there will be decreased lung compliance and unstable alveoli. It is seen in premature babies, babies of diabetic mother and newborns who had birth asphyxia. Main clinical features are tachypnea, nasal flaring, expiratory grunting and retractions. And so how it is managed? Mechanical ventilations and giving surfactant exogenously are the management. Question number 9. The quarantine system was established to protect against the importation of which disease? A. Cholera B. Yellow fever C. Leprosy and D. Plague The correct answer is D. Plague a quarantine is a restriction on the movement of those who have been exposed to a communicable disease but not yet confirmed medical diagnosis. The first quarantine was introduced in the year 1665 for the outbreak of bubonic plague, then in 1918 for the flu pandemic, then in 1925 for diphtheria, then in 1972 for smallpox and in 2020 all over the world for COVID-19 outbreak. Question number 10. Omega sign is seen in which of the following? A. Deluded patients B. Negativistic patients C. Depressed patients and D. Anxious patient The correct answer is depressed patients. Omega sign is also known as Omega melancholicum that is the wrinkling of the forehead skin which resembles the Greek letter Omega. It is produced by the excessive action of corrugated muscle. 
and it was first described by Charles Darwin. Question number 11. The premature closure of the sagittal suture is called A. Oxycephaly B. Scaphocephaly C. Enencephaly and D. Acrocephaly The correct answer is B. Scaphocephaly Scaphocephaly is also known as dolicocephaly. This is the common form of craniosynostosis that is the premature closure of the sagittal suture which results in the lateral growth of the skull producing a narrow and elongated skull. Now let us see some of the other craniosynostosis. First one is enencephaly that is the absence of a major portion of the brain, skull or scalp. It is a type of neural tube defect. Second is plagiocephaly that is the asymmetrical distortion of the skull means flattening of the one side of the skull. Then we have acrocephaly that is the premature closure of the lambdoid and coronal suture resulting in an abnormal high peaked or doom shaped head. Thank you for watching. For more updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel Nurses Handbook.